is the reason why Granada is not a Muslim kingdom today, down to just one man, down to Ali Atar. Find out today on Speaking of Spain as we explore Islamic Spain. By the mid to late 1400s, Muslim Spain was reduced to just one kingdom, that of Granada. To take this final stronghold would not be easy for the Catholic armies, as the entry to this exotic and isolated region was via this gateway, Loja. Loja was referred to as La Llave, or the Key, as only when this city had fallen would it be possible to enter the rich and fertile Vega, the valley that leads up to the capital city. The difficulty for the invasion forces was that Loja was not going to be easy to take. The first attempt had been a disaster in 1482 when the attacking army was ruthlessly driven back by the defender of the city, the warden of Loja, assigned to defend the territories from the Christian attacks, a man known as Ali Attar. Okay. Ali Attar was father to Moraima, whom we met on the last episode. Therefore, he was also father-in-law to the Sultan Bobadi. In short, he was an influential man who could pull a few strings when necessary. His defense of Locha was so effective that the Christians realized they could not take it unless he was dealt with first. And the following year, he was killed in the battle to Luthen. So the Christian forces returned again to Loja and after nine days of siege, eventually took the city. In 1486, the city fell to the Christian forces. And then it was just a question of years before Granada would fall as well. What would Spain be like today as a Muslim country? Well, I think headwear-wise, it would definitely be more interesting. And what if it had retained its religious plurality? something that disappeared pretty quickly after the final Christian conquest? What if it had maintained its extensive and intricate irrigation systems, destroyed by the conquering forces? Would desertification be the problem it is today in Almeria and parts of Granada? What if the translation work carried out by the scholars of Cordoba and Toledo continued for the following centuries? What if all those classic books had not been burned by fanatical Christians upon taking its city? How much more powerful would the Renaissance have been? Where culturally and intellectually would Europe be today? So what happens? when the forces invade, the gates open, and poor Spain exiles all of its greatest thinkers and writers and agriculturists and warriors. What happens when Spain gets inquisitive? Join me on the next session of Speaking of Spain. Yo. Say cheese, Mr. Cheese Man. Say cheese.